All right, let's uh, use some of the healing brush and the content aware tools that will help us out. You've been introduced to these earlier, but we're going to get into them in more detail. I'm going to do an open file. I've uh, pressed Command O, Control O uh, to open. Here's the picture that uh, uh, you've hopefully downloaded. And here we go. Now, as I look at this picture, uh, it's it's pretty good. Uh, we have a problem with some of the uh, weeds in front of her face, and the shadows are a little bit dark. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is to take this into Camera Raw, and let's bring up the the shadows quite a ways, and click OK. That makes a big difference right there. Now we're going to zoom in, and show you let's let's start with the spot healing brush tool now the spot healing brush tool is works best just as it's described uh, as a spot healer all you have to do is just click and the spot will all go away the the healing brush tool works by looking at the areas surrounding the spot and then pulling in and, and blending. Uh, and here's a little spot right there. We can get rid of that one. Uh, just make the brush just a slight bit bigger than the spot that you want to to get rid of and then just, just click. Now one of the features you could do is you could sample all layers and do your healing on a brand new layer rather than on your on your original one. Uh, that's up to you. And just looking around, uh, it looks pretty good. Now sometimes you, you don't have to do just spots. You can, you can uh, come in and over multiple times over an area. I'm going to back up though. Uh, I'm doing command option Z to step back. So there's back where we were. If the spot healing brush doesn't seem to be working, then you need to switch over to the healing brush tool. The healing brush tool allows you to pick a target to paint from. So you hold your Option or your Alt key down and click where you want to paint from and you'll see that the, if I make the cursor a little bigger that uh, it's going to pull from that, from that area over. And so if I click and start painting, you'll see an X or a plus marking the spot where I'm pulling the paint from to where I'm pulling the paint to, and then the then the the healing brush takes that additional step and tries to blend it all in together, very much like the stamp tool. Um, if I pick the stamp tool and I pick an area to to paint from. It does, it works the same way, but when I let go, you'll notice that it does not blend it in. So that's that's the difference between the stamp tool and the, and the healing brush tool. So let's go down here where we've got a little problem with um, this weed in, in, inside of her face. And so if I pick a, an area close to what I'm trying to do, That usually works pretty good with the stamp tool, but like I was saying, it it does not blend it in. And sometimes that's what you need. You don't want it to blend in. Okay. 
the healing brush works the same way as the as the stamp tool except it heals as it goes it tries to blend in what you're doing I'm going to hold my option or alt key here and, and choose a target down below and and start painting the, the weed away. You can see where it's pulling from, right below. And make my brush a lot softer, edged, and we can just kind of work work through it. And again, I'll set my my new target, and it's almost amazing how well it works. Now when you get close to an edge sometimes it's better to use the stamp tool because you don't want that bleeding in to, um, to the area. So if I set here and go across here, then I can switch back over to the healing brush tool. Got a little too far. All right, so take our healing brush tool and Excuse me. Um, zoom out. Not too bad. A little bit of, a little bit yellowish, right there. So stamp tool is not working very well so I'm going to switch back to the, the healing brush tool and we'll paint back in some of those hairs so it's pretty amazing what you can do with the brushes zoom back in. Let's take our third one down, our patch tool, and just grab that area and try and blend that in just a little bit better. Zoom back out again. Okay, looks much better.